Why do you feel like tech is a craft? I feel like tech is a craft because we're having to be disciplined in our approach and continuously apply the techniques that we've been learning and you know, reflect on how they're working for us and continue to refine, you know, how are we getting better at writing code? How are we getting better in our interactions with one another? Um, how are we getting better as, as human beings and the way that we're approaching our work and trying to get more fulfillment from what we're doing? Is there an ethical or like a moral way to write code or develop your tech practice? <laughs> wow, uh, such an interesting question because I know I've heard Uncle Bob talk about IT as a profession and how we're really lacking some of the ethical approach. Um, I definitely feel like as a professional, we should be thinking about the, the outcomes of what we're producing. You know, is this going to have um, a negative impact on society or or you know is this you know solely to, to drive more profit for companies um, you know let's think about what we're really creating and what kind of uh, legacy we want to leave through the work that we're doing awesome what is the one thing organizations can do right now to create a craftsmanship culture Ooh, one thing that a company can do right now? Maybe, maybe two. <laughs> well, I think a lot of it starts by having the conversation. You know, how are we approaching our work today? You know, do we take pride in what we're doing? Or do we come in and act like, you know, it's a nine to five, you know, just come in and do the same thing day in and day out? Um, or are we looking at how do we get better? How do we improve? Um, how do we have a, a better work environment and create a better product for our customers? So is the whole myth that dev people are just hiding out in a cave, not seeing sunlight, is that a myth or is that reality? <laughs> I think it's a myth. Um, some might still want it to be true, but I think it, you know, once you're in technology, you start to learn like the handshake. You know, like it's your tribe, it's your people. Um, and so even the, the most introverted of us still like to get together and you know, share war stories and, and connect. And I think that's why software ultimately has become more of a team activity uh, that we're all in it together. What is the best way a manager can support their team through a tech turnaround? Wow, I think uh, you know, listening to the, the team, listening to the developers of you know, what are the hardships in the code, uh, you know, what challenges are we having in our development environments, and finding a way to say yes. Um, and I know that's really difficult because it typically means we're going to spend more time up front uh, having to do more refactoring or having to learn a new practice, a new technique, and it's going to slow us down initially. Um, but how can a manager provide the air cover um, to make it okay for that team to do the, do the things they need to do to make it right? Do you think that Agile or particular frameworks within Agile help with that? I think, uh, you know, Scrum is the most popular Agile framework right now, and it certainly provides uh, you know, the transparency uh, between the team and the product owner, you know, what's our definition of done, what is it that we're delivering, and we're trying to have that potentially releasable software uh, every sprint. Um, and then teams are starting to look more at the extreme programming practices or some of the modern agile um, engineering practices and figure out how can we incorporate that into our Scrum frame framework um, that we're seeing that discipline come through. Is there a modern practice that you're seeing right now that's becoming really effective or popular within the industry? You know, I keep hearing about mob programming, uh, and I've had teams dabble in it. Uh, it ended up being more of like a, a potting exercise is what we called it. So it wasn't pair programming. Um, we would actually have two developers and a, a tester uh, work together collaboratively and focus on the same item. So smaller than the full scrum team, but larger than a pair. Last question, what is your favorite Agile mantra and why? Ooh, favorite Agile mantra. Um, I don't know that it's Agile necessarily, but I've been uh, thinking the last couple of weeks about how learning is the bottleneck in software development. And I look at how many decisions we make based on, uh, we don't have time to learn that right now um, in these larger organizations. Like We don't have time for the team to learn a different part of the code base or a different part of the domain or learn these additional practices. 
And I think it's really detrimental in the long term because people are very resourceful, they're very creative, uh, highly innovative that you know, we can learn if we have the drive and we see the purpose behind it. So just let us go forth and focus on the best, most important things.